we are on day 15 of our quail hatching experiment and we've had six baby quail hatch. This is going to be our brooding box. It's just a simple Rubbermaid tub. It's got a puppy pad in the bottom uh, for them to poop on so that and to walk on a little easier than newspaper uh, so that I can clean it for as long as we keep them before we go release them to the wild. It's also got some cedar wood chips just because I happen to have some. So that helps make the smell a little more natural than what can be a chemical smell from the puppy pad. Two paper plates there have the mashed up food from the feed store in them. It won't stay there and the chicks will make a mess out of that too, but that just again makes it a little easier to clean. Uh, over here we have a heat lamp because for the first week they need to stay at the same 100 degrees that they've been at in their incubator. And over here we have a water bottle. It's important for birds not to give them open water sources because they can drown in open water sources. You can also see three thermometers in there, making sure that our heat lamp keeps it at about 100 degrees. I see and it. the whole thing is sitting on top oh. of a blanket. Oh. Is the room where we are <coughs> those tile floors. And you don't want to go to the me. bottom of your brooder to get colder oh. than the rest of your brooder. So now here are JC and Isaac, and they're going to help me move our baby quail from our incubator over to our brooder. So we will take here on day 24. We may still have a few more chicks hatch. I don't know. Of course, all the eggs aren't laid on the same day, so they don't always hatch on the same day. But we have had six hatch, and we want to get those out of the incubator and into the brooder. And then we will leave the rest to see if anybody else hatches in the next few days. Baby chicken, watch out! Baby quail. I said, move this desk over there. Oh. Okay, over there. Oh. And we will get out the baby quail that have hatched. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight hatched now. Better get this guy before he jumps off the edge. And I'll move him over. Look, see. I'll bring him up there so you can see him a little better. We do have to move pretty quick. One, to keep them warm, and two, to see, keep the other ones see. from jumping out. Because they're pretty mobile oh, pretty quick after they're hatched. Come in, guy. <laughs> they, they don't know humans, and you don't come really want guy. them to get too come used in, to guy. To get too used to you <laughs> because then they won't do as well in the wild. Gee. There's two more little baby quail chicks, and you got to be careful not to drop them. That long drop could definitely injure or kill them. So, look, look. here's two more. Oh. So, that's three in the brooder, and this will make four <laughs> and five. <laughs> Tickles me. Tickles me. You wouldn't want to put one in the brooder too quickly because if you put one in there too quickly, he wouldn't uh, have enough warmth. But once there's a few of them, oh. it doesn't hurt him to go in the brooder pretty quick after they hatch because they can keep each other warm. <laughs> He's trying to hop out of there and see that camera. And so oh, we're giving him that's two, four, six that are in the brooder now. They're very interested in that food and water. Oh, I see two that? more eggs there in the uh, incubator that look like they've started hatching. It does happen occasionally that an egg out. will start to hatch and then not, this not finish. Out. Not yet. This one right here looks like he's started but I, and I can see some movement so hopefully we'll get another one out of there soon. This one has started. Well, it feels empty. It looks like it started, but it feels empty, and maybe it has been closed back up by the ones that have hatched. None of ours that had uh, X's on them have hatched. Those are the ones we thought probably wouldn't. But I think there's a good chance we'll get at least two or three more before before we give up on them. So we'll close that up, but I am about to reopen it and add some more water. To make sure the last of those guys keep humid enough. Isaac and JC, if you'll scoot over so our camera can see those little baby chicks, we will get 
take on a closer look at our brooder. And there they are, all on top of that thermometer. I will take that thermometer out of the bottom. Um, that just gives me a more accurate reading of what it is down there, because that thermometer says 100 degrees Fahrenheit, or pretty close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, where the one that I was keeping on the side here only reads 80, or maybe even 70, but that's because the heat lamp isn't directly on it. This heat lamp does have a, uh, a heat bulb in it, and it would need to be closer if it didn't have a heat bulb. So Maybe chicken come here, Daddy. <laughs> are they chickens? Yes. No, what are they? Baby quails. Baby quail. Eat another kind food. Of they haven't decided if they want to eat that food yet. <laughs> It'll take them some time to figure that out. They're all huddled under the warmest part of the of the brooder box right now. If any more hatch, we will be sure to keep you updated on that. And Isaac and JC will be sure to take care of these little baby quail. JC, what do you think about these baby quail? Do you like them? I like them. Isaac, do you like these baby quail? Yes. So we'll be keeping an eye on them, making sure they have what they need, and watching to see if any more of our quail clutch hatches before the um, before Sunday. Today is. Friday and we'll give the rest till Sunday before we give up on them.